So last time we took a look at Butcher Bay, it's time to take a look at Assault on Dark Athena, which was the bonus chapter that got turned into a full game, essentially, when the game got dropped by... Activision? They say hope begins in the dark, but most just flail around in the blackness, searching for their destiny. The darkness, for me, is where I shine. So perhaps unsurprisingly, Riddick has escaped from Butcher Bay. So yeah, I think they originally were eyeing the concept of... Oh god, we've got... We've got keys again, instead of Xbox controller. Press J to go to the journal. Hey, so she saved my packets from the first game. That's interesting. Please stop showing the info. There we go. Yes, yeah, so this was a bonus chapter that they basically had so much time to work on, they essentially turned it into a full game. Or at least a you know full length expansion. Which is kind of interesting, because this thing almost didn't exist. The fact that Activision gave up on it and uh, Atari were the people who came in to save it is, uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. Here we go. So we've got the same set of mechanics. We're going to press X to go into creep mode. We're going to press A to jump. And we're, I imagine, going to do a lot of fighting dudes. Oh God! Oh. Don't kill me, please, Danny. Why should I not kill you? Seems like I should. I tried to press A on him, and he wouldn't let me. So I, I assume I have to kill him. So I will say, this game does look better than the uh, Escape from Butcher Bay. It's clear that the textures were... Well, the, the entire game was built with HD in mind, where the, the first game wasn't. Oh, hello! Plot <laughs> that little animation. Oh, I can get up there. There's gonna be some sort of hidden. Is this gonna be a hidden thing, or is this the way I'm supposed to be going? Oh, that's the way I'm supposed to be going. Yeah. Just love their art style. The help keep up. What's that gonna say? Red light on a door means it isn't. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you for that genius bit of information. That's red. Oh, I think that means it's locked. Right, where do you want me to go then? Made a mistake here? What's going on? Oh, I can drag the body. Do I have to drag these into the darkness before I can unlock the door? That's exactly what I've got to do. Soundtrack, as always, with Starbreeze games is awesome because it's done by Gustav Grefberg, who did the soundtrack for uh, The Darkness. It's a drone gun. Oh, wow. It's like a, a turret. That's quite cool. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Run! Use a drone gun! Well, that was dramatic. And I've got no health left. Excellent. Hopefully, there's a health dispenser. What's that say? You drag dead but I know! I just had to do that earlier! Ah! Ooh, four bars of health! Luxury! Did he see me? No, give me the. There we go. They sure. Starbreeze sure do like buttons where you uh, go close to the ground. Assault rifle. Oh wait, is this going to be heavier on the gunplay? Yes. Wait, is this just all the help from the last... Oh wow, it is, isn't it? Yep, alright. Get rid of that blinking help. Oh! Hold bound, mouse button too. Or left trigger. This doesn't feel right. I'm already not comfortable with gunplay. The gunplay is much improved from uh, Butcher Bay, but still. It's not what you're playing this game for. So I'll wait for them to come to me. It's kind of amazing, actually, to think about it. Considering how middling the gu I miss I love the darkness, don't get me wrong, but the, the gunplay is not good. It's not the best part of it. In fact, it might be the worst part of it. And in Riddick, it's still not perfect. But compare that to Syndicate, and I love Syndicate. Syndicate actually is really good shooting. Like they finally really nailed the feel of a shooter. Thinking help. I wonder if you can turn the help off in the options. <laughs> can turn multi threading off, that's good. Uh, uh, I don't think you can. It's a shame. Yeah, he just flicks. This, <laughs> no matter how slowly I attack him, he's gonna see me. I don't know how chaotic this looks on camera, but it feels pretty chaotic. The melee combat is—I think I probably said it in the Butcher Bay one. It's more frenetic than I remember. See, I do wonder, because of the way that this game was set up, I wonder if this was supposed to be a final chapter to the game. So they expect you to play through the entirety of Butcher Bay before you get to this. And that's why the gunplay is so quick to get in. Because I don't think... If this was a sequel, you wouldn't start this way. Oh. Sex now. Nope. I wait for a loading screen. And a cutscene. Light intruding now. Shining. 
the Aguerin system, full of desperate suckers who couldn't make it anywhere else. With this desperation, this opportunity. Mr. Diesel, you appear to be in space. This can't be good. It never is. What happened? Did he get captured? These are nice looking cinematics. She looks like she fell out of the Matrix Reloaded. Ah, Johns. I remember you. Squad leader on Sol Lucia, I believe. Good man once, but not anymore. You do know that the Bay's been looking for you. And your friend. I don't know if it's the PC what port of this, but... There appear to be faces that occasionally with polygons just start breaking apart. It's a little bit unnerving. Sorry, Cap. Spinner said I should set us back on course, but I thought Spinner's my exo. He says you do. And let me give you a warning as you're new to my crew. Uh, what's that, Cap? Uh, Cap? Don't call me Cap. But Cappy. This looks nicer. Now, she was a hunter. We had our past differences. Oh, they're going through the strobe light tunnel. Airlock? Some sort of. Yeah, some sort of cleansing airlock, I guess. Stand here. Oh, I've got a shiv when I stand up. Good to see the prison mentality is still around. Salvage operation complete. Vessel docking in bay five. Yeah, I remember this now. The screen goes blue when you're essentially hidden. Denied. Stand by for identification. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. I can only apologise. Stealth gameplay is never the most entertaining thing to watch. And usually because I'm concentrating. Can I batter you now? I am. At what point is he just going to turn around and batter me? Oh! <laughs> can I go that way now? No, not really. Uh, huh. Now, can I press the button? No. I can use the drone gun, but... That doesn't... Really help me? There's gotta be something I can do in this room. Find that. Locked. Yes! My favourite thing in video games when characters go up to the door is it's the Lara Croft in Tomb Raider thing. Good. I'm missing something here. It's gonna be really something dope, something really dopey. Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh, you can jump too, can't you? Yeah. For some reason, I do really like that camera angle. I know it's kind of convoluted, but... I like the cut of this game's jib. Oh god, it's gonna get a Bioshock on us. The monsters. They'll catch me. Now the monsters have something to fear. It is gonna get old Bioshock on us. white light can see you with their flashlights and they can talk to what what is your name Riddick <laughs> can you Riddick I could however when I help people they end up dead but something bad will happen to my mommy I think they'll turn her into a monster soon just like they did daddy I heard something Ledge. This is some diehard level stuff. Which is accurate because at the time of recording it's December, so Christmas. Same guy then. Yeah, I don't need to keep that nano med forever. Does it stay in your inventory? I wonder. Oh, it does. That's kind of cool. 
Hi. Hmm. Attention all hands. Security level raised. Service drone 110 Foxtrot at docking entrance has been terminated. Oh, come on. What happened? That was an incredibly bad stealth kill. Oh, dear. <laughs> Talk about breaking a Brazil nut with a sledgehammer. Oop. I got away with that last time. There's a lot of ledge climbing in this. You got a thick skull sometimes, don't you? John's a merc just like you and me, and when a merc turns into a most wanted, price shoots sky high. Ma'am, we talking bounty now? Of course we are. John's busted out of Butcher Bay with the biggest prize they ever got. Riddick. So no I think John's the guy who takes one. you in. Store him while I fix the arrangements. I'll transfer him by pod in no time, yeah? Got it. I really should finish Escape from Butcher Concerning Bay. Concerning disloyal crew members. Disloyalty. <laughs> it's got this pungent, sickening smell, doesn't it? What should I do with Officer Doe Eyes here? Send him to the dentist. Put the black spot on his friend. <laughs> Was hoping you'd say that, ma'am. Take oh. him. Oh. I'll get on him when he's right. The weird metal blades. There's a price on my head. This time, Revis is planning to collect. Cool blades. No law ever written is as powerful as cold steel. I know it's kind of cheesy, but I do like Vin Diesel as Riddick. Something about that kind of super serious, super dry. Jesus, this is going to go badly. In the blue, in the blue. God damn. Well, that went well. Right, let's try that again. I'm technically hidden here, which seems odd. I'll take it, but... I'm hoping I can shank this guy on the left. There we go. Stealth kill done. Go around here because I can hear him. Oh no, is he going to find that corpse? Yeah, the stealth is definitely the thing in this game. Come at me, brother. Any time now. 
I don't like this. I don't like playing peekaboo with guys with guns. Parents gone. At some point, they're going to find the massive trail of bodies, though. And that's going to end badly for Riddick. This is better. This is what I want to have a Riddick game. I don't want gunfights. Game's not built for it. Character's not really built for it either. Come on, you're in the dark. Room for the door. All hands. This is the captain speaking. Thank you for your patience during this impromptu detour. And we made a fine catch today. And a fine catch means fine bonuses for all. But now, I get our prime awaits us. Now to those on watch, stay on alert. A rat may have stowed away on the Athena. Whoever catches the vermin gets a very special treat next, surely. John or Jane, your choice. I know what I would affect. Reeve us out. They know I'm here. <laughs> a fearful enemy is one prone to make mistakes. Is that because I've killed every single person but one? Oops. Attention all hands. Hazardous cargo alert on cargo level 5, Charlie. Please do not open red taped crates without donning protective suits or controlling a disposable drone. Come on. Oh god. Oh god. Run away! Can you run and hide in this game? Let's find out. Because the AI is just going to run immediately to where I am. Oh, you can! Excellent. I think they know where I am. No, they're just shooting randomly. <laughs> well. It's a shame. This is kind of cool. Assault on Dark Athena is definitely a game. I know later on in the game I started to get a little tired of it. Um, oh, that's gone badly already. But yeah, I, I like the combat. I like the crazy sawtooth blade things I'm wearing. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a shame that Starbreeze disappeared. I think I said that in the Escape from Butcher Bay video. I love Syndicate. It's maybe my favourite. I mean, I love the darkness, but it's maybe my favourite Starbreeze game. So uh, that's a look at the Chronos of Riddick games, and I can't believe that they managed to make two amazing games that are better than any of the movies. Although I still have yet to watch Point. Point. No. 
<laughs> I want to say point blank, pitch black is what I mean. Oh dear. <laughs> 